Welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. Today we have a 2005 Toyota Solera with a 3.3 liter V6. Customer states a repetitive clicking sound while making a sharp left or right turn. So let's check it out. So there's not much to show you as far as the, the diagnosing part of this because the noise is coming from the CV axle. It's, um, it's an internal failure. The, the boot's not busted, which is usually a, the noise goes along usually with a broken boot sometimes because the grease runs out and then the the joint wears even faster so we're going to replace the cv axle uh first thing to do is going to take the right front wheel off it is a 21 millimeters for the lug nuts the way i like to do this repair we're going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt and this 12 millimeter bolt here that gives us some slack in the brake hose and the speed sensor harness We could also just unclip that. I don't think that gives us really much any extra. Next, we're going to remove the, the CV axle nut. It is a 30 millimeter 12 point. Um, you can unstake this if you want, uh, but since we're replacing the axle, it's not a big deal. Separate our axle from the hub. Next, we're going to remove the lower ball joint. There's two 17 seven. seven there's two 17 millimeter nuts and a 17 millimeter bolt. Next, we're, uh, we're wanting to separate the ball joint and the lower control arm. There's a hole in the top of the CV axle, not CV axle, the control arm that fits perfectly for the pry bar. Oh. So this is the point of why we undid did those two bolts. We're going to take a ratchet strap, I'm going to pull the hub and strut out of the way. And gives us access to our CV axle. So it is actually leaking just a little bit there. Okay, underneath the vehicle, um, there's a support bracket uh, for the, like the bearing on the CV axle. There's a 14 millimeter pinch bolt we're going to remove okay there's a snap ring here uh, we're just going to use a pry bar we'll just push up on it so i've got a drain pan under where the cv axle goes into the uh, transmission you are going to lose a little bit of fluid so just keep that in mind So we'll go ahead and we got a new CV axle. We'll put our spring back in place. So that axle is a little bit harder to come out than usual. Um, but with it out, we're gonna put some anti seeds on that inner side. And uh, hopefully if this has to be done again at a later date, it won't be so bad. So uh, now would be a good time to, to do the axle seal. We're not gonna do it this time because it is not that old. This repair was done not that long ago. Um, so we're just replacing the axle this time. All right, got our axle seated. Now we're going to put our spring clamp back in. Next, we're going to put our pinch bolt back in. There's a little rubber piece that goes on the end of that. Sometimes they stick in there, sometimes they come out. Well, this one's just missing all together. Um, so all we did is, is cut up some old rubber material, old car parts. There's all kinds of stuff you could use. Just about three of an inch, three eighths of an inch long. You know, we showed it in there. And just, just enough to put a little bit of pressure on that outer race. So we're going to put some anti seize just on the, uh, the outer splines, um, that way help the, uh, 
the next repair. Next, we're we'll gonna put our CV axle in place. Kind of, you know, releasing the ratchet strap and putting it in all together. And put the nut on just to kind of keep it in place. Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? Put our ball joint back in place. I usually get the, the right corner in. So the speed sensor bracket goes on first, and then the brake hose bracket goes next. Okay, we're going to torque our CV axle nut. If you watch any of our shows, like, what? They're torquing something? I know, right? Uh, this is 217 foot-pounds. Uh, wheel bearings are kind of susceptible to over-torquing and under-torquing. So that's why I like to torque these. I have a, like a skinny lady's foot pry bar in the rotor pushed against the caliper to do this. We'll punch or stake the nut. Last thing to do is check your transmission fluid level. You can do it hot or cold. <clears throat> With the engine running. So it's it, that's the hot mark. The line's just right there below it. So uh, fluid level is good. Uh, if you need to add any, it, it is T4. Well, that wraps up another one. This CV actual is, is kind of standard, very similar across the board for most front wheel drive vehicles uh that's that center support bearing did give a little bit extra trouble but it's not the worst i've seen so uh, this part costs about 150 to 200 bucks depending on where you get it probably about an hour and a half two hours of your time so uh, if you like what you saw today you know like share subscribe thanks for watching